good to go, girls. Get ready as we dive into the glitz, glamour, and sheer magic of Bollywood cinema as we unveil the top 10 Bollywood movies of 2023. From heartwarming dramas to pulse-pounding thrillers, 2023 was a year filled with cinematic gems that left audiences captivated and craving for more. So, grab your popcorn, settle into your seats, and let's dive in. Number 10 is Dehack Dehack, an uplifting tale that follows four women in the style of a classic road trip adventure. It focuses on the bright spots of life and it provides much needed positivity to the world. Based on a true story, these women attempt to scale the tallest mountain in Ladakh via motorcycle. But it's the journey to get there that's the most compelling. It's easy to spend time with these women as they all give insight into different aspects of life. Each comes from a different generation and background, but they all share a desire to get a new lease on life with this trip. Number 9 is Kufia. With fun and thrills, take on the espionage genre starring Tabu as Krishna Mira, a spy on the hunt for a double agent. While on this journey, Mira becomes obsessed with a married couple she suspects of having a hand in illegal activity and it begins to push her over the edge. It will take some patience to be fully engrossed in Kufia as the film is paced slowly for the first third and is over two hours total in length. At number 8 is Cathal, a jackfruit mystery. Though satirical, this movie has no trouble providing genuine depth and emotional payoff in the end. When two jackfruit are stolen, Inspector Mahima Basser, played by Sanya Malultra, is charged with finding them, but her priorities shift when she discovers that there is also a missing girl who needs to be found. Though has a lighthearted premise, Cathal asks deeper questions about the treatment of women in positions of political power and the correct use of political power in general. Through the hijinks and sight gags throughout the film, there is a core lesson about the importance of fairness within a community. At number 7 is Goldfish, an understated film that focuses on the relationship between a daughter and her mother who has dementia. Animika, played by Kalki Kochlin, ran from her mother and her life in their small town many years ago, but she must return to take care of her and come to terms with her feelings about her past. Slow, steady, and poignant, the film doesn't place blame on either one of them and merely tries to understand where the other is coming from with empathy and understanding. Sometimes I tell people I'm adopted. So do I. <laughs> At number 6 is Mass Main Rene Ka. Follows two older people living on their own who are brought together when both of their homes get robbed. Despite the stolen goods, the robberies are the best thing that could happen to them as both are lonely and seeking companionship. The film stands out because it doesn't center on romance as much as it does, but a friendship and finding strength through independence in the process of growing older. Combining both comedy and realism, which makes for a touching film. <laughs> At number 5 is Fairy. With an amazing combination of high school dramatics and high stakes thrills, Fairy showcases the next generation of upcoming Bollywood stars within a compelling story. Niyati is admitted to an elite school, but coming from a different socio economic background, she comes into conflict with her rich and popular schoolmates and soon gets embroiled in a scheme of cheating and lies. Although high school antics are at the root of the film, Fairy only uses it as a jumping off point to explore the rich lives of teenagers and proposes bigger critiques of the unfairness of elite education and how admissions are rarely a meritocracy. What would be the answer to this? Sir, 14 plus 28 IOTA. Good, very good. 14 plus 28 IOTA. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you, Pratik and Groh. At number 4 is Speed. Set in the present day, B takes on the issues that emerged during the lockdown of the COVID-19 pandemic. Raj Kumar Rao takes on the role of Inspector Surya Kumar Singh Tikas, an officer working at a border checkpoint who grapples with the moral implications of keeping people from crossing the border. The film has a broad scope and introduces the stories of many other characters, making significant points about the fate of people who are kept from their homes during global tragedy. <laughs> Our number three pick is Twelfth Fail, a biographical drama and a romance about the life of Manor Kumar Sharma, who is played by Vikrant Massey. After being caught cheating on an exam, Manor turns his life around and studies hard to become an IPS officer. His path is difficult, but he comes to realize that, through perseverance and strength of character, he can achieve anything. You said that you focus on focus 
Number two, Goomer. Though a sports film with cricket being the driving force behind many of the main characters' decisions, but in reality, the film is about the emotional and personal growth of the people in the film. When Nina loses her arm in an accident, it cuts short her dreams of being a professional cricket player. However, she finds solace in Padam Singh, who sets her on the path to become a great bowler. Though both characters have tough exteriors and claim to only care about the game, it's soon obvious that the film is a love letter to the healing powers of sports and the kindness of a mentor figure. And finally, at number one is Jawan, starring the legendary Shah Rukh Khan as the main lead, has captivated audiences worldwide. Khan dual performance is nothing short of mesmerizing, capturing the essence of both father and son with equal parts charisma and gravitas. With an enormous cast and even bigger set pieces, the scale of the film reflects the star power of Khan, but this does not overshadow the deeper story of political corruption that the film tells. Overall, Jawan is easily the best and most memorable Bollywood film of the year and will stand the test of time within the canon. Good to go, girls. Ready, G! There you have it guys, the top 10 Bollywood movies of 2023. Which one have you watched? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe for more movie recommendations. Until next time, happy watching!